Hello YouTube, this is the Student Witch, and this is going to be my first attempt at making some bath salts. So, because today was payday, I was able to go down to Cambridge Naturals and I got the salts to make my bath salts. This is Epsom salt, I got a pound for $7. Dead Sea salt, I got a pound for $6. And I got half a pound of just bath salts. Um, I didn't really specify what kind of salts are in here. But um, I got a half a pound because it was $10 per pound. And I already had these ingredients. I'm going to include um, some dried lavender, some dried chamomile, some lavender essential oils, peppermint essential oil, and eucalyptus essential oil and I'm going to mix it all up in this big bowl here with a wooden spoon and I'm hoping that I have enough to put a decent amount into two maybe three of these um, pint sized jars because I want to have one for myself and the other two I'm going to give away as a gift so I'll show you the end result Okay, so I just put all three of the salts, the bath salt, the Epsom salt, and the Dead Sea salt in this bowl. And now I'm going to add the essential oils. I'm just weaning this. I'm just going to do this based on scent. So the first one I'm going to add is going to be the lavender, which is the one I want to be the most prominent. The lavender and the peppermint. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna to try to add maybe ten drops and then stir, smell it, see what I think, and then add another ten and stir and kind of do things that way. So I'll I'll show you as I go. Alright, so I decided ultimately with 30 drops of the lavender essential oil. 20 drops of the peppermint and 10 drops of the eucalyptus. Now, this is quite pungent. If you prefer your bath salts to have more subtle scent, I would suggest doing maybe 20 drops of lavender, 10 of peppermint, and 5 of eucalyptus. Um, but I, I kind of like the scent to be kind of intense. Um, so again, 30 drops of lavender. <laughs> I went 30. 30 drops of lavender essential oil, 20 peppermint, 10 of the eucalyptus, and in total I have a pound of dead sea salt, a pound of epsom salt, and a half a pound of a bath salt mixture, a plain bath salt mixture that they had in bulk at the store. So there's two and a half pounds, so that's my ratios that I'm working with. Next I'm going to add a few pinches of just dried lavender and a few pinches of chamomile because I want this to be simultaneously relaxing and cleansing. Um, the chamomile and the lavender um, are going to be the relaxing part and then the eucalyptus and the peppermint will be the cleansing part. Um, so I'm going to add a few pinches of this, see the consistency that I like and then I'll tell you how much I ultimately added. All right, and here we have the finished product. It has a beautiful consistency. You can see the little flecks of lavender and chamomile throughout, and it has a very strong but cleansing and therapeutic scent thanks to the essential oils. Um, I ended up putting two tablespoons of lavender and about two and a half tablespoons like this of the chamomile. So this turned out really, really well. Um, this is my first time making bath salt, so my only fear is that it will clump or stick together, um, especially because of the essential oils that I put into it. But that's nothing that a spoon, some spoon scraping can't, 
can't solve, I'm hoping. <laughs> so I'm probably going to use this tonight because I want to take a bath tonight before I go to bed. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be making more of this in the future. This is great. Um, I'll let you guys know how it turned out. And here you have it, the finished product. I ended up having enough for three pint-sized jars. And look how beautiful this is. It's just... I can't wait to go take a bath and wash all the stress away. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know what you think. Bye!